Hey everyone, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to distribute your AR experiences on web, messages, emails, or any other sharing services. So basically, we don't have to download an app to view AR. We can just share a link or a file to anybody, and that person will be able to view our AR experiences. So let me show you some examples of what I'm talking about. So this is my phone screen right here. So let me show you the first example how we can see the AR experiences which are embedded on a website. So if I open Safari, and I'm going to open a link to one of the pages of my website. So here you can see, this is one of the pages of my website. And if I click on this image, this will open up an AR experience. So this is the 3D mode. And if I click on AR, So what I showed you has a lot of uses. Any e-commerce company can add AR experiences on their website so that if a user opens their website using their phones, they can simply click on a product and view that product in AR and all this without downloading any application. So one more example of how we can share these AR experiences on messages, WhatsApp, or even emails. So right now I have my WhatsApp open and you can see this file. You can share that to anybody and if I click on it and click on AR, this will open up an AR experience. And the best part is, it is very easy to create these experiences and you don't have to code anything. So let me show you how we can create these. So there's a website known as Victory. We are going to use this to create our experiences. It's a very simple tool. So first you have to sign up and after that you can start creating the experiences. So this is the workspace where we are going to create the AR experiences. So as you can see at the bottom there is a huge collection of 3D models. So if I just expand this there are lots of 3D models here and you can also search for these models. So we can just pick any model from here like this one and drag it right here and you can zoom in and zoom out using pinch to zoom on your mouse and we can also position this model by using these arrow keys right here so if i just hover over this i can move it in this direction also in this direction this direction and apart from these models I can also add a 3D text. So go to add ons, drag the 3D text right here. And change the text from here. So this little window will show all the properties of the object that is selected. So right now the 3D text is selected and so these are the properties of this 3D text. We can also change the font and the color of this text from here. And apart from these models, you can also upload your own models, but just make sure that those models are not too big and you can import your own models from here. Import. And these are the formats which are supported. So those models that you will import will also be placed here. So after you have added the 3D models here, you can export this AR experience by clicking here export and select 3d and the format that is supported for the ios device is usdz so select this and it will export it into usdz and this is the format which you can embed on the web as well as share on different messaging services like whatsapp skype but this will only work in ios devices 
So once this is exported, you will receive an email from Victory. So I'll just open my email. This is the email that they sent me. Just click on the link. So as you can see here, if you want to embed the AR experience on your website, then you can just simply copy this code right here and paste it to your website's HTML. But if you want to share this experience on emails, WhatsApp, Skype, or any other messaging services, then you can just download this USDZ file. So this is the file I downloaded. And to share it, I can just email this to myself. So I just sent this file to myself on Gmail. So I can just open this using my phone. And if I click on it, this might take some time. So if I just click on AR, also I can share this using the top right button and I have various options. So I can share this to anyone. So this is an amazing way to create small AR experiences like the one I showed you. But for complex AR experiences, we still need a standalone iOS or Android app. So that's all for this video and I will see you in the next one.